circumstances happened and I ended up out here homeless and penniless. I've had AIDS and been symptomatic for many years and it's really hard getting over that hump and that's another great thing. They have people that come in here and help us and help us to understand what we're going through. You know, there's a lot of guidance here and that's something I'm learning to do is make the right choices. You're not condemned for anything you used to be or any lifestyle you live. For women, we only have like two choices. Here in one other house. Other than that, you're going into a program or you're hopping around at Salvation Armies and sleeping in cars. I pay more for a week in a motel with cockroaches that would carry my bed out the door while I was sleeping than a month here. You're so comfortable here, you almost forget you're different. Well, you have your privacy. You have your locked doors. We have the chapel, we have the TV, we have the kitchens. People get together and do group cooking. I find I, I care more about myself when I get up in the morning and get ready. Instead of just going, uh, it just feels so good coming in here. It just feels like something really good. Like you know something that's going to happen to you being here. I think I'm lucky. That I'm here, I really do. I count that as a very big blessing. My job went out of business and I didn't have much savings. Um, I couldn't afford the place by myself, so I found myself in a homeless situation. Uh, but there's many things that this organization uh, did for me. When they first took me in, uh, that provided a safe haven uh, from the motels that I was uh, used to staying in. Uh, they helped me with, uh, they taught me monthly budgeting skills. And this was really necessary for me because I had tons of debts. Then along that lines, to help me feel good, they wrote a grant, a, d a dental grant that was uh, able to give me $3,000 worth of dental work. And so that really helped my self-esteem. So they encouraged me to uh, start back college. It had been 30 years since I went to college. So I started back at Santa Ana College. And um, since I've started, I've gotten a C, a B, and five A's because of their um, uh, confidence in me. I, I, I've been doing great. And my goal is to uh, get my human services degree bachelor's degree, and I'm, I'm just taking my time, a couple units at a time, because I do have two jobs. And, uh, but it, they've helped me set goals, because my, um, you know, I'm 52, by the time I'm 55, I'm gonna have that degree. Nothing's gonna stop me. The main things that this organization has done for me is given me um, uh, direction, you know, by helping me get back in school. It's, um, it has given me a vision for my life and, and a career. Uh, along with housing. And so these are all things that, uh, when, if you were to look at a description of Mercy House in a, um, in a book or so, it would just say it's a transitional shelter. But see, from the things I've told you, uh, there's a lot more uh, to Mercy House than, actual, than the actual description. And, and if they can do it with me, they can do it with anyone.